LaVar Ball finds himself in the midst of a media firestorm after an appearance on the herd with Cow and Cow Herd, and he got he Ball got into a verbal altercation with Cow Herd's female co-host Christine Leahy. Mike, do you think that uh, you are in agreement with Cow Herd's decision not to step in and address his sexist behavior on the show? Because Lavar did tell Christine Leahy to stay in her lane, and she and that he would only really address Colin Cow Herd. I'm not one that's going to go ahead and support Colin Cowherd here, but I thought that he actually handled the situation properly because, look, bringing LeVar Ball on, it's all about the ratings, and I thought that the way that Cowherd played this was perfectly because he didn't jump in. He let it play out. Look, let's bring LeVar Ball on and let him act like a jerk. He did. You wanted to bring him on to act like a jerk to generate the ratings. Now, as far as Leahy and how she interacted and everything, I thought that Cowherd played this properly. However, the big issue that I have with Cowherd, he always wants to pat himself on the back. He wants to talk about how he's the one that's putting women, that, that, that's giving, helping women get into radio. He's the one that knew about all these ESPN layoffs. So here's a guy, when he, even when he does something right, he can't help but kick himself, you know, kick himself in the back. Yeah, well, I disagree with you, Mike, on, on this uh, account, in that I it's okay to kind of let Christine stick up for herself, but I feel as though, as a man, and the men that I know would never let another man address a woman that they have a relationship with in that manner. And I, I think there was a previous history there, and I think Christine Leahy may have said some comments about LeVar Ball being a parent and maybe intimated that Lonzo Ball was scared of his father. And making stuff in, you just don't want to attack people's parental skills, the, their kids and their family when you don't know the intimate details of their life. So that already set him on edge. So I feel as though Cowherd should have stepped in and told LeVar to, you know, pump your brakes. Don't speak to her that way. And I don't think that if he did it, it would diminish her strength and her being a, a strong woman. It would just embolden her to, you know, to give her support. And I think he missed the ball. No pun or maybe pun intended. I don't know. But also, I just wanted to say that I find the setup of that show very peculiar. That is, Christy Leahy is his co-host. And like how we're sitting here, you're next thing, I can touch you. Christine Leahy is on the other side of the room. She, I mean, she almost may as well not even be there. And that's his co-host. So to me, that, that says something about Colin Cowherd and how he may really feel about women and then you mentioned um how he said that he knew about the espn firings well there there was this one woman who's gone on record and said that her friend had a job with colin cowherd when he was an espn and the idea i, I can't remember if Cal, if cowherd said that he was going to bring her over to sports uh fox sports but he didn't so i don't know he's he's coming out a little sketchy in this situation <laughs> well we'll we'll see he got the ratings and he, that's what he wanted that's what he wanted